Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, TBG Family, man. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. TBG Family, man. TBG Family. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. Excuse me for cleaning my ear out, man. You know what I'm saying? For all you don't know, I just got out the shower. You know, so you know you gotta clean your ears. You gotta clean your ears when you get out the shower, right? You really supposed to clean your ears before you get in the shower. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I want to get into this video, man, today about little Steve from Six Hundred. Little Steve from Six Hundred. You know what I'm saying? For all you people who don't know who that is, that's little Steve from Six Hundred. He from Six Hundred. You know what I'm saying? And his brother is Memo Memo Six Hundred. So, little Steve from 600 is the older than Memo 600. You know what I'm saying? So, Memo 600, little big brother, little Steve is the big brother. But a lot of people don't understand, man. Little Steve, he's from Chicago. He was from Chicago, born and raised. Memo 600, he's from Chicago, born and raised and shit. You know, they both of them guys, they both from Chicago, born and raised. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, uh, they block, I don't know where they block sat, but I know they was... Hanging over there on the old block. They was hanging everywhere. Old block. They was just not hanging where the ops was. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, people say in Chicago, you know, the ops is not that far from them. You know, you know, I guess the blocks is real close in Chicago. Blocks is real, real, real close, like, in Chicago, like, five minutes away, two minutes away, you know. But little Steve, man, he's an up-and-coming, he's an up-and-coming dude. He's an up-and-coming dude and shit, man. He was a Chicago savage, a Chicago demon, you know what I'm saying? He was everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything you name, you know what I'm saying? He was an even up-and-coming rapper, you know what I'm saying? Because basically, he was in the streets all his fucking life. He was in the streets. He jumped off the porch at an early age, at the age of 15, you know what I'm saying? He was in the streets, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. And then one day, he was like, fuck this, I'm going to start taking this rapping shit serious, you know? He's going to start taking this rapping shit serious. Him and his brother was raised together. You know what I'm saying? Remember 600 and them. They was raised in the same household. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, little Steve, 600, man, you know, he was out there just, you know, he was out there uh, ripping around in the streets. He was terrorizing the streets. He was getting money, feeding his family, feeding his loved ones, supporting his relatives, supporting his brothers and sisters, supporting his mom, supporting his dad and shit, you know. The Steve Dry, little little Steve, little Steve from Six Hundred, man, he come from the struggle. He come from the struggle. You know what I'm saying? He come from the struggle. You know, but it's just fucked up though because he lost his life at the, at an early age. He lost his life at an early age due to the gun violence. You know what I'm saying? But in my eyes, all I do is see a Chicago legend. And to me, that's a Chicago legend. You know what I'm saying? Because he been through a lot. Little Steve from his Six Hundred. He been through a lot, man. He been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? You got to take care of your mom, your relatives, your, your brothers, your cousins. You got to take care of the whole family. You know what I'm saying? He was through a lot. You know what I'm saying? He been through a lot, you know? But a lot of motherfuckers in Chicago, nigga, they, they was, nigga, a lot of people were like his ops. Nigga, they, they feared him. A lot of his ops was scared of him, nigga. A lot of his ops was scared of him. A lot of his ops feared him and shit, nigga. They didn't want to see, they didn't want to see little Steve, nigga. But they see little Steve in that block, nigga. Shit, you better run, nigga. You better run and duck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But little Steve, man, from 600, man, he was a real street nigga. He was a real street nigga, real savage, a real demon and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? And remember 600, he looked up to his big brother. You know what I'm saying? Remember 600 looked up to his brother. You know what I'm saying? He looked up to his brother and shit, man. Why y'all think Memo, uh, why y'all think Memo 600 rap like that? Why y'all think he rap like that? Why y'all think Memo 600 like that? You know what I'm saying? Memo 600 act just like his brother. And the cool thing about it, I didn't even know they was related. I didn't know they was blood brothers. I didn't know they, oh, they was blood brothers. But, man, they act just alike. They act just alike and shit, bro. You know, but shit, man, it's just fucked up, man, when, uh... It's fucked up when you're a rapper. When you, it's fucked up when you're a regular dude. And you trying to get out the street life and you trying to change your life around and you trying to take this rapping shit serious and you trying to be a rapper and you ain't trying to be a street nigga no more because you ain't trying to have one foot in the streets, one foot in the rap industry. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, 
little Steve from 600. He was trying to change his life, bro. He was trying to change his life. He was trying to change the motherfucking niggas he kick you with. He was trying to change his surroundings and shit. He was trying to change the certain shit he do, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, but, man, it's just fucked up, man, because he lost his life to gun violence and shit, man, you know. And, you know, he was into it with everybody. He was into it with everybody. But, you know, him and Chief Keith were best friends. Him and Chief Keith were best friends. And when little Reese was, little Reese was best friends with him. You know, everybody looked up to, everybody looked up to Steve. Everybody looked up to little Steve from 600. Everybody looked up to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, I think everybody looked up to that dude. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, a lot of people don't know he was short. He was a short dude, but shit. He's a short dude, but he came with thunder. You know what I'm saying? He came with thunder and shit. You know what I'm saying? He came with thunder. He came with thunder. He didn't play. He didn't bullshit. He didn't give, like, he didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You know, if he got beef with you in the streets, nigga, he's going to basically take care of you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That basically, if you got beef in the streets, nigga, that's what you're supposed to do. If you got beef in the streets with a nigga, you supposed to take care of him, nigga, before he take care of you. You know what I'm saying? And that's where Steve, little Steve from 600, remind me of a person like that, you know? A street nigga, a hood nigga, a gutter nigga, a straight Chicago demon, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, one day and shit, man, you know, he was like, shit. You know, it's rumors on the internet. It's rumors on the internet say he was coming out of a bitch house. He was leaving from a bitch house. He was leaving from a bitch house and he was walking and shit. But he had like his headphones in his ear. Like he was walking from, he was leaving a bitch house and he was walking from the bitch house. And it's rumors out there. Allegedly, it's a um, rumors and rumors out there saying a dude on a bike rode by him and was like, Hey, bro, don't walk that way. Walk the other way. Because it's, it's niggas in the cuts. It's niggas down here in the cuts. It's niggas down here in the, around the corner or niggas in the alley shooting. They shooting at some niggas or some shit. Or nigga, they in the cuts. Nigga with ski masks on, nigga. So don't walk that way. He should have went the other way, you know what I'm saying? But you know, nigga, you know, Steve, nigga, he was a gangster. He was a hood nigga, a Chicago demon, nigga. He didn't give a fuck, nigga. He didn't even, like... He, he didn't take knowledge of that. He didn't take knowledge of what the little dude said on the bike. He kept on walking and shit. So he kept on walking towards that direction and shit. And then when he kept walking towards that direction, man, shit, it's rumors out there. And allegedly, two gunmen jumped out the motherfucking trees or jumped out the bushes and started shooting them. You know, start shooting them, start letting them have it. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up, man, because... Like, you know, sometimes we got to think. Sometimes we got to think before we do shit. Sometimes we got to think before we talk. Sometimes we got to think before we do anything. Sometimes we got to think before we go fuck with a bitch. Sometimes we got to use our head and go kick it with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to think about the situation before you even go do the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just fucked up, man. So I want my all my prayers go to little Steve. Steve for 600, you know what I'm saying, my prayers go out to him and his family and his loved ones, man, my prayers go out to his mom, his cousin, his dad, his relatives, his brothers, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace to a Chicago legend, Lil Steve, Lil Steve for 600, rest in peace to him, he was a motherfucking goat, and you know what I'm saying, he was into sports too, he was into basketball, football, like really he could have got a, really he could have got a scholarship, by playing basketball or football and could have got the fuck up out of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? He could have got his family out the hood. Could have got, you like, nigga, like, pff, man, shit. It's just fucked up when, you know, it's fucked up when you change your life around. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, this is the cold thing about it. Before the incident even happened, led to that nigga, little Steve, he changed his life around, so he went to go get a job. He was not out there, nigga, in the streets hustling no more, drilling nor nothing. He went to go get a job. He went to go get a nine to five, nigga. So he was working a nine to five and shit. You know, he tried to switch his life up, try to switch his surroundings up and shit, and stop kicking in the streets, getting high, smoking weed, doing all this. He was just trying to do something different, you know. And man, you know, he went to go fuck with a bitch and shit. He was like kind of tipsy. And he went to go fuck with a bitch and shit, man. And, you know, after, you know, after every nigga get a nut, fuck a bitch, you want to leave the house and shit. 
Some niggas stay the night. Some niggas stay the night till the middle of the morning. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, fuck this. I got to go. I got to go check a trap. I got to go get some money and shit, you know? And he left and shit. But, you know, I'm going to keep it real and keep it all cut, nigga. When he left, nigga, the bitch is one. The bitch is the one. The, the bitch the, the, who he laid down with and fucked, that's the, that's the motherfucker who set him up. That's the motherfucker who set him up to get killed. You know what I'm saying? That bitch set him up to get killed and shit. You know what I'm saying? She backdoored him. She backdoored him and shit. You know what I'm saying? And if can't nobody understand that and, and can't nobody tell that nigga, man, niggas can't read between the lines, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. It be the motherfuckers ones to pitch a location out, nigga, wherever you was at, my nigga. So if I'm over here, nigga, playing basketball with my son and shit, playing basketball with my son, and then me and my son, nigga, say, fuck it. We got them playing basketball, so we tired, and we about to go to the house and go to, we about to go to the house and change clothes and shit, and then me and my son walk into the store, we stop at the store to get some Gatorade and shit, and then next minute, nigga, some niggas roll up on me and kill me in front of my son, nigga, but I was playing basketball at the motherfucking park, right, with some niggas and shit, with some niggas, and, 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 but so who the fuck gave my location out, nigga? Tell me, my son gave my location out or them bitch-ass niggas who I was playing basketball with, nigga, gave my location out, nigga? Like, niggas got to pit the shit together, man. Niggas got to pit shit together, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I don't get it fucked up. Lil' Steve, you know what I'm saying, for 600, he had his gun on him. He had his pole on him. He had his gun on him and everything, nigga. But the fucked up thing about it is, you know, like, when the people, when the niggas got down on him, when his, the people got down on him, he didn't have a chance to, nigga, grab his pole, nigga, and pit one up top, nigga. He didn't have a chance to do that, nigga. He didn't have a chance to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep it real, man. The bitch set him up. You know what I'm saying? The bitch set him up. The bitch gave his dropout. The bitch gave his location up and shit. It was, I'm surprised the bitch didn't have the niggas come in there. Actually, I'm not surprised because the bitch, she, she, the niggas wanted to come in there and do him in, in the house while he was fucking on the bitch. But the bitch didn't want nothing to do with it. You feel me? Because then the uh, police would have came to her house, asked, <clears throat> and did an investigate on her house. Nigga, check, check, check this, check her carpet and all this. You feel me? So, nigga, that's why that bitch did that shit, man. But that bitch has scandalous bitch, nigga. But, and she only did it for a couple dollars, nigga. That's what... Allegedly, rumors is out there saying she only did it for a couple dollars, nigga. She only did it for a couple dollars, nigga. Allegedly, nigga, she only did it for like four to five hundred, nigga. Set him up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up, man. Like, I, like I'm i gonna keep it real, but that's fucked up. I don't like bitches out here, but I don't like bitches in the city that set niggas up. Like, because a, a bitch won't want a nigga to set them up and get killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, come on, bitch. You gonna set me up, bitch, to get killed for $500, bitch, or $400, bitch. I could've gave that to you, bitch. You could've asked me, bitch. I could've gave that shit to you, bitch. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I be trying to tell everybody, back door is a motherfucker. So that when I say back door, nigga, watch your surroundings. Watch the people you kick it with. Nigga, you should never tell a person where you going, nigga. You should never tell a person, nigga, where you going or who you going to meet up with. Or oh, I'm going to, uh, hey, bro, I'm about to go see a movie. Nah, you should never tell a nigga you about to go see a movie. And if he asks where the location at, don't get a nigga the location. If a motherfucking bitch asks you, you going out to eat, you be like, yeah, I'm going out to eat. If you going to motherfucking Red Robin, nigga, you shouldn't tell the bitch where, 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 what's the location at, where it at. Nigga, you should never give out your locations, man. 2021 and 2020, nigga, nigga, we gotta stop giving out our own locations, we gotta stop, nigga, posting shit on Facebook, we gotta stop posting shit on Instagram, we stop, gotta stop posting shit on Snapchat and all that shit, man, cause the end of the day, nigga, sometimes it be, nigga, sometimes you could give out your own location, nigga, you could give out your own location, you could give out your own whereabouts, nigga, but, I'm gonna keep it real, man, it's just fucked up, man, little Steve, Lil Steve 600 lost his life, man, to gun violence. He lost his life to gun violence. So I want everybody to comment down below and say rest in peace to Lil Steve 600. Rest in peace to him, man. Why y'all think Memo 600 snapping like that? Memo 600, he got bars, nigga. I don't care what nobody's saying. Memo 600, nigga, got bars. Nigga, he snapping, nigga. He snapping. I did not know they was blood brothers, nigga. But like I said, man, rest in peace to Lil Steve, man.
Rest in peace to Lil Steve, man. Rest in peace to the little Chicago legend, man. He's a Chicago legend, a Chicago GOAT. Rest in peace to Lil Steve, man. 600. He is a Chicago legend. But like I'm going to tell you, man, I love my fans. I love, I love all my supporters. I need y'all to thumbs up on this video. I need about 500 thumbs up on this video. But remember this. Never give out your location. Never give your location out. Where the fuck you going to go or where you live. Trust no one. Trust no one. If you don't, if you ain't been knowing a motherfucker for 20 years, do not trust the motherfucker. Do not trust that motherfucker. Pit the motherfucker through a test and see what he fell. I love y'all. Stay safe and love God.